What I want to show you here is not my amazing Counter-Strike skills. I want to show you one point perspective. Look at that. Through that window frame. Horizon line. Vanishing point. Okay, and look how all these lines dissect towards the vanishing point over there. Showing you where the vanishing point is. And now let me go. Whoa, how's this guy? Whoa, I'm amazing. Okay, let's go back to that and have a look and draw it. Okay, I'm going to start by drawing my horizon line and then my vanishing point. There I'm going to now take my lines that dissect to the vanishing point. Here I'm drawing them all in blue just to give you an indication. Then we have vertical and horizontal lines. These lines are your rectangles and squares that I am basically looking directly at. There's no sides to it. So the bricks they are vertical and horizontal, but then the windows that face towards the vanishing point, they'll all dissect. Even the roads, the, the floor itself dissects to the vanishing point. If I had to draw a block, it would too would go into the vanishing point for an example over here. That is one point perspective. I'm going to do it again in green to show you how these lines all dissect to a single point in the middle. And now I'm going to draw it in a more flat color just so you can see how they dissect towards the vanishing point and how I can manipulate it in my drawing. I can take a, a screenshot and I can figure out the vanishing point. Okay, now what we're going to look at is if I can manipulate this map to show me one, two and three point perspective. So if I look at this box over here, which is square, that's one point perspective. The reason why that is, is if I come and I keep my eye level in the horizon line, we are able to see that the box, the top of the box, dissects to a vanishing point in that area over there. So let's draw that quickly. That's number one. Then, if I change and I change my angle, keep my eye on the horizon line, but I'm now looking down with my own eyes, not my character's eyes, then I can see the top of the box moves to a right vanishing point and the other side moves, dissects to the left vanishing point. So let's quickly draw that as well. It's two. Then, if I change my view, my eye level, and I move it down, then this creates three-point perspective. Because the bottom of this box will dissect at a vanishing point over here. And the tops will dissect to a right vanishing point and a left vanishing point. Easiest to see is if I look directly down at these boxes over here. Then I can see there's a whole new vanishing point underneath me. That's where those lines will dissect. So let's also draw that again. So to recap. One point perspective. Two point perspective. Three point perspective. Now a rule of perspective is that 
the horizon line is there. So if an object is below the horizon line, I'm able to see the top of the object. If an object is above the horizon line, then I'm able to see the bottom of the object. So for instance, this crate. So I'm above the boxes below the horizon line, I can see the top of the crate. Now it is below the horizon line, and I can see the bottom of the crate. Another rule of perspective, something that is closer to you is bigger. Something that is closer to the viewer is bigger. Something that is further away from the viewer is smaller. Kind of makes sense. Okay, here's the next thing I want to show you. Is that the horizon line and the vanishing point is always on eye level. Watch their, their heads. Look how, as they go further away, the heads are still on the same line. Okay, so let's see that again. Here's all my players. Look how they run away. Look, as they get smaller, the heads stay on the same line. This also makes it interesting when playing that if I'm trying to go for headshots, that they should be at eye level. You see that? Eye level. No matter how far they are. Bang! You check that. So if I keep my cross here, eye level, I should be able to get headshots. Just like that.